Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Tuesday morning. We are preparing for Passover. I don't know necessarily really know how to celebrate Passover. As you know, we cannot celebrate Easter. I was just going over the book of Isaiah. Good morning to you. Um, that vindication of salvation of Zion. And then that God uh, is reminding me that even though he will punish Israel, he will punish Babylon severely and swiftly. It is in, in addition so that his children can be can be awakened and shaken up to to level back to level earth so they can repent in the name of Jesus because they have been twisted and wicked and they have been following false prophets, false teachers, prophets of Baal. They have been also denying Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, taking one of those abominations. Every time you took an abomination, you have denied the Lord our God. It is an abomination unto our Heavenly Father. Yes, I'm talking about these J-A-Bs. And you cannot take them. Peter denied, however, the Lord three times. And Peter became one of his closest, most loyal servants. Unfortunately, that religion that came from that was eventually taken over by Constantine. And was pervert, pervert, perverted. And this is the religion that I pray all of you, my brothers and sisters, and your family members will come out of, that you will come out of Orthodox Judaism, that you will come out of any kind of false doctrine, doctrines of devils, demons, Church of the Thyatira, there's so many Christian doctrines where they don't even follow the true teachings of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the people never repented properly. Um, as Jesus Christ of Nazareth is teaching, you cannot say, I'm the bride of Christ, and you, for example, do not do the precepts and teachings nor obey them nor do accordingly to the commands of our heavenly holy father that he taught through his son only begotten son lord jesus christ of nazareth who of course after his crucifixion in matthew chapter 20 verse 20 said that all dominion power and authority was given unto me over the earth and of, over all things of this earth and of course, Jesus Christ of Nazareth as God in the flesh, the word of God, the only begotten son of God. Glory be to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the name above all names. We praise you. Jesus gave us, gave us full power and authority over all scorpions, over all serpents and over all the power of the enemy. So nothing shall by any means hurt you. That is, of course, in Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 20. Let us be encouraged this day, brothers and sisters. Let it, and let's encourage one another. Let's pray for one another. So please listen to these prayers. This is to encourage you. This is a prayer for vengeance, for justice, to to for the bride of Christ to be avenged and vindicated as attacks have been horrific. We've been we're being infiltrated, brothers and sisters, left and right by false prophets, false teachers devils demons and people who do witchcraft in the churches in our ministries um you have to be please call that out immediately do not be afraid of it ask god for guidance ask god for extra supernatural protection with angels and they're going to be there for you guiding you holy spirit will get you will speak for you with your lips you are to rebuke them sharply you are to call them out and warn others watch out for the spirit of new age new age uh, any kind of new age is trying to slip in even to the old timers right now this is what the enemy for example has been doing with me the past week trying to slip in curses bad words in our video search engine things that i don't seek out don't search there are in here so we cannot we have to avoid this like a plague brothers and sisters that it is this is the plague of evil plague of perverseness they are attacking us because we obey and we obey 10 commandments as jesus christ commanded his children he said if you love me you will obey my commands right and that was the matthew excuse me the book of john chapter 14 i believe 13 um, however, please look it up, test the spirits on everything I tell you in accordance with the first book of John, chapter 4, verse 1 to 3, when you command the spirits to say, Jesus is come in the flesh. So uh, here I am speaking, Jesus is come in the flesh. However, you also, another way of, in this case to test the spirits of my teachings is, of course, common sense to go look up the verses and the things I'm telling you. However, 
I'm praying only. We're not supposed to be, uh, pr- you know, show off our prayers in, in public. But of course, my my intent isn't vanity, but it is to, to motivate you, brothers and sisters. It is to energize us. It is to, to keep us going. It is to get you waking up this morning into praise and worship of the Lord to fe- make you empowered so you can walk in that power of God in you through the Holy Spirit uniting your human spirit, your beautiful lamp, as it is written in Proverbs chapter 20 verse 27, with the Holy Spirit. This is what this is all about, To for God to start changing the way we think, brothers and sisters, so you can you can praise the Lord, worship the Lord as he's changing our thinking, as he's changing uh, an entire our entire lives. Many of you are about to be moved from the places where you are placed away from your even your families. And the reason being is that you've been as as I have been, you know, uh, uh, experiencing a lot of discomfort, a lot of uh, different things. And the truth is that. God is not planning on changing. This means that God was never planning on changing the circumstances, brothers and sisters, in our families, in our houses, or at least not right now. If they are unawakened, they shall remain unawakened for still a little bit longer. Although I pray, I pray for a miracle for yourself as I pray for a miracle in my family, the close one and the distant family as we have all suffering members and the worst thing is that they don't even know that they're suffering they don't even know that they are part of the great deception they a lot of them have taken the abominations and they are changing and i can tell you vouch for that that these people are not the same some of them they had hearts of flesh and these hearts have become hearts of of stone and only God Almighty, through His Son, Jesus Christ, you know, to all of you Jewish brothers and sisters, to all of you other brothers and sisters who are of the so-called Hebrides movements or any kind of movement that tries to minimize Jesus Christ of Nazareth as God and only mentions Him as the Messiah or, or just as the only begotten Son of God, either you don't comprehend that He's God and you obviously don't understand that you cannot, on the only way back to God Almighty, back to heaven, brothers and sisters, may I remind you all, and if you know it, of course you know, and majority of you here know it, but in case if you're new and you don't understand, is to brothers and sisters, is only through Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Only through Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and his true teachings under the covenant of the blood of Jesus, we all must obey. The old covenant, 613 pomegranate laws, doing sacrifices, for example, of grains, grain offerings, all of that is, is done and away with. That was crucified with Jesus Christ. So when someone goes and does that, it's like stabbing Jesus Christ all over again. So please, please repent of that evil. Repent of that false doctrine. And please also, remember, don't ever do it again. It's between you and the Lord, but you cannot skip Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is God of this earth. Also, Alpha and Omega in Greek or in Hebrew, Aleph and Tav, the beginning and an end in English. You cannot skip Yeshua, HaMashiach, and, and, and say, I speak to the Most High God, Adonai, God of Israel, Jehovah. We praise you, Father God Almighty, but I pray that our people will know and the newcomers that they will know that they cannot skip communication with God Almighty, whose word of God is Jesus Christ himself. In other words, when Adonai, God of Israel, speaks, it's Jesus Christ we hear through the Holy Spirit only. If you skip Jesus Christ of Nazareth and you think you had some supernatural experiences, brothers and sisters, with God Almighty, uh, I guarantee you 99.99% of them are demonic. It is impossible. It goes against all the teachings of the Bible, the old and the new teachings. It says that the word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus Christ of Nazareth was half human and also God in the flesh. He only had 23 female chromosomes and one supernatural Y chromosome from God the Father through the Holy Spirit, Immaculate Conception. Jesus Christ was supernatural being because he was not conceived through a through a, a intimate relations between a man and a woman he was conceived supernaturally and that's why he was he was born in other words without sin 
sin is, the penetra penetrational sex. Do you understand, brothers and sisters? Which you were born this way, and I was born in this way. We were born, as David says in his Psalms, a sinner. He was born in sin and out of sin. Do you understand? So we have to all remember that not to ever, ever mix covenants. That is a demonic doctrine of demons. They will teach you 90% of truth. They'll pass on some b biblical codes. They'll, they'll speak pretty things, but they'll be avoiding, avoiding things that are, are, are the only